Well, welcome everybody to the Global Summit uh, 2013. It starts with the 75,000 of us that are gathered right now, 8,000 people right here on the Willow campus, and then the rest in hundreds of venues all over America. This is my first summit. It was great. It was actually, you know, breath, breathtaking. You know, I've been to the summit about 15 times, and it's really helped shape who I am, actually, as a leader. What brings me back is the hard-hitting quality leadership training that I get in, in a format that I can't get anywhere else. I think one of the ways to make a group of human beings more powerful as a leader is to constantly show them uh, perpetual optimism. No matter how bad things are, we're going to fix it. Colin Powell. Obviously, for obvious reasons. <laughs> well, I think because of the way he takes care of people and he cares about people, it's a lesson that goes across. I don't care what, whether you're at McDonald's, the Army, IBM, it doesn't matter. If our religious experience isn't translating to different habits and behaviors, then we aren't leaders. We thought innovation is about value for money. I say innovation is about value for many. I look most forward to just the sheer energy and intensity and urgency of the learning experience. You can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you cannot have both. We bring over 150 of our corporate staff to this event and we think it's the finest leadership event in the world. In business, in what we do in television and film, it's lots of no's. All I hear is N-O, next opportunity. I do not <laughs> let it drag me down. When you lead like a multiplier, people around you literally get smarter and more capable working for you. Can't imagine how we could be a Christ-like leader without knowing the people that work for us and without helping them connect to why they're serving others. God gave us an innate desire to love others, and if we have a job that has nothing of that in it, we can't love our work. I think a lot in terms of learning that we learn continuously. It was hearing him articulate what we're currently implementing. The value and the impact and how you get people to perform better when the culture shifts. I remember the first time I ever met Pastor Bill, he said two things to me. He said, study the art of listening, and um, I don't remember what else he said, but that first one was like, that was, that was pretty cool, man. It was just so inspiring to see somebody doing what they love and impacting like so many people. That just really drove me to want to just continue doing what I'm doing and uh, just loving it every moment. Never get caught up in the great things of leadership if it takes you away from the God things of leadership. So when Jesus said, I'm going to build my church, he meant it. It is the activity of God on this planet and it has been for 2,000 years. I love coming to the summit um, to learn some practical leadership skills, to connect with other leaders who are going for the same thing. Just don't be afraid. Just be you. Live a life worthy of the calling you've received. You are my workmanship, he says. And I created you with that gift of leadership to put you right where you are. Never do ministry alone. To be alone is to waste an opportunity to mentor a young leader. Do not bail on your mission. You know, if there's ever a time in human history that was crying out for courageous leadership, the time is now.